What is going on guys? John D Games here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing off a free software that will actually allow you to record and live stream pretty much any game but I'm just going to be demonstrating it with Minecraft. So um, today is actually a really good day. Um, YouTube has actually been starting to get a bunch of stuff going with um, more live streaming and it's going to be rolling out to people with as little as 100 subscribers. So be on the lookout for that. If you go to channel, if you go to channel settings and then under features, you might see it. So if it's there, enable. I would recommend because live streaming is awesome. I love doing it, and yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, demonstrate the software. So what you want to go to is obsproject.com and go ahead and just download it. It's right there, and then it'll take you to SourceForge, and then it'll actually go ahead and finally download, and then. Once you install it, once it gets downloaded and installed and updated, you're going to be presented with this beautiful software right here. And this right here is your main live stream and recording console. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all of your video settings are good. So go to settings and then go to video and then you want to go to custom. You don't want it to be on monitor. I'm pretty sure that's what it was automatically set for me for. And then you want to uh, make sure that it is 1280 by 720. That is the exact resolution for 720p video. And then what you want to do is you want to at the same time go to Minecraft and put in those exact same resolutions. So you want to go to edit profile even if it's your default and type in the exact same resolution. Save profile and then you want to go ahead and launch Minecraft. And now you guys can go ahead and um, actually just hit OK and then um, you want to go ahead and add a scene add scene. Right now it really doesn't matter because I'm only doing one, but if you guys plan on doing a bunch of different games, like I had Cube World in here, maybe League, you guys can go ahead and just create a new profile for those and um, go ahead and um, just do game capture right there and then you want to scroll down to Java W Minecraft 1.6.2 and then you want to hit OK. And now from here you kind of want to um, think about what you want to do. Do you want to just record yourself? Because that is totally possible. You guys can only, um, you guys can do a file output only and that is just going to make it so it will record directly onto your desktop. You can put an intro, you can put an outro, you guys can put in extra music. You guys can do really whatever you want that you couldn't really do live. And then um, if you just want to to, um, live stream it, which I know a lot of people might want to do. Um, this is actually how you do it with YouTube. You guys can do it with a bunch of different stuff like Twitch or Justin or whatever, um, but I'm just going to be demonstrating it with YouTube because that's what I use the most. So um, from YouTube you want to go to, um, it's under my videos and then live events is in the left hand corner. Um, create a new live event and then from here you're just going to put in a bunch of different info. Uh, test and then um, just key smash. Uh, and then um, it really doesn't matter about the time or anything. I'm just going to leave it private. So let's go ahead and create an event. Once you actually have this enabled, it's pretty easy to work. And then um, from here, you have your stream key and you have your server. So just go ahead and copy your stream key over to um, right here. So right there is what you want. Um, the stream key is the one that's going to be dotted out. And then um, your primary URL is going to be um, right there. And then you'll paste it right there where it says server, apply, apply, and then OK. And now what's actually um, happening is right now it's actually linked up to my actual live streaming page. So for this live stream, it's actually going to be live streaming to YouTube. So let's go ahead and actually try that. Let's just go ahead start streaming this is what it looks like whenever it's going and um, you can even see you can monitor your microphone levels mid stream so that's pretty awesome um, and then you can also just hit play on the live preview and then it should come up there it is and so um, this is like a little live preview and then if you do want to go live with what you're doing you guys can go ahead and just hit start streaming and also for the record um, whenever you um, whenever you're playing minecraft it does actually record sound which is pretty flippin' sweet, I would say. Um, let me bring up OBS, and then um, it's like, right now I'm not in a place where there's going to be a lot of sound, so um, if you just yeah, you can hear, you can see the little meter that's moving there, and you can actually um, just see it um, actually going up. So it is recording game sound, which is pretty awesome. That's something that I really don't see a lot of things that are free doing. So, okay, let's go ahead and um, stop streaming since we're not really going to concern ourselves with that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to settings, and then we want to go to broadcast setting. It's a setting in here you can actually record, and then, like, you can have it automatically record your live streams, which is pretty cool. I have an entire folder dedicated to that. Um, so this is everything I've live streamed. So yeah, that's basically it. And um, you guys can have it record there. I just have a basic place for it all to record. And then you can actually even set a delay, which I find pretty freaking cool if you want to um, 
do this on, say, like a survival games map. You want to like be live streaming, and you're afraid of people who um, who might want to watch your stream and get the upper hand. You can just set it for a number of seconds, 300 seconds, and then maybe that'll give you quite a bit of delay until um, like until you kill the person that's watching your stream or whatever. That's just kind of how I um, I beat that kind of mentality that I can watch your stream and figure out exactly where you are, go towards you, and be in your stream. No, you'll be too late, brah. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to uh, take that off uh, since I don't really need it. And then um, if you do want to just record file output, that is an option. So like I said, you can do um, pretty much everything you want. Um, just intro, outro, music, whatever. But yeah, that's um, that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. You guys can add um, a bunch of different sources or whatever and switch between games and midstream. It's actually pretty awesome. So if you guys want to check this out, obsproject.com. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.